Hello, my name is Eve and I'm the project manager here at the Atlantic Whale and Dolphin Foundation. We have been welcoming volunteers from all over the globe to Tenerife for over 30 years. Each of our volunteers that comes has a unique and life-changing experience. During your volunteer journey with us, you will go down on the whale watching boats um, and act as research guide. We will teach you how to collect data on the cetaceans, how to take thin ideas and how to educate the tourists on how they can help protect the whales and dolphins here better. All of our volunteers that come through the programme complete their own personal project during their time with us. We will help you pick the topic of your project. It just has to be something that you are interested in, you're passionate about and you're willing to work hard on. We are here to facilitate you for achieving your goals. We collect data by interactions on the boat and from a land-based station. We take fin shots which allows us to fin ID. This gives us an idea of the family groups and population size. Land-based allows us to observe interactions between the cetaceans and boats, providing data on their cetacean behaviour pre and post interaction. The outcome of AWDF research is to hopefully provide further scientific evidence for the protection of cetaceans in Tenerife. Mm -hmm. um, so we're starting a plastic pollution project here in Tenerife. We're starting um, a long-term study of distribution and abundance of plastic pollution in Tenerife. Let's fight plastic pollution! Together! So with climate change we're supporting the Plant a Tree Fund a Dream project. Um, plastic pollution, we're supporting the Plastic Bank. Um, and for the community action, we've just developed a new database of organisations around the world that are working to support the environment, conservation um, and people and cultures around the world. One of our other areas of work is ecotourism. Ecotourism is about promoting sustainable tourism without damaging the environment. For education, we have developed our new Art in Nature programme, which aims to reconnect youth with nature through art. Workshops in the UK have begun, which involve groups and schools being provided with resources and lesson plans. They also receive terracotta pots to paint that have been purchased from communities in Sri Lanka. The painted pots are then sold, with the profits going back into the communities that created the pots. We want education through experiential learning to be something that is accessible to people of all backgrounds and we believe that education can change the world. Let's go, come with me! It's very satisfying and, and also it's a beautiful a place. place. <laughs> so it's always really nice to work here. So everything we grow here is organic. So when we will start um, having our own fruit and vegetables, yeah, we know that. We grew them. So our volunteers work really hard during their time with us. Um, but at the weekend, it is your time to do with whatever you want to do. So we encourage all of our volunteers to make the most out of their time on the island and have a range of activities that you can get involved with while you're here. Um, so they include, you can go scuba diving with our friends down at Zero Gravity. go kayaking down in the massive cliffs of Los Gigantes, possibly seeing some whales and dolphins while you're out on the water. Uh, you can also go horse riding and get to know Oscar who will pair you perfectly with the horse that is matched exactly to your personality. Also uh, try surfing down in El Medino which is one of Europe's top surfing destinations for all levels, um, so beginner to pro. Um, you can also go paragliding if you're a bit of an adrenaline junkie and you can run off the hill, jump off the cliff and take in the amazing views that Tenerife has to offer. Other than that, we also volunteer down at the local dog rescue centre called K9, uh, where we go and help out and take the dogs for walks, help clean their kennels and make sure that those dogs have the best possible life until they find their forever home. Favourite 
activities for our volunteers to complete while they're here is the famous Teide Challenge. Teide is the third highest volcano in the world. It casts the longest shadow um, on the morning sunrise and it really is a big, big challenge. Our volunteers work really hard together. We fundraise before we go. Um, and with that money, it goes into our Global Citizenship Program and we're supporting community projects all over the globe to make a real big difference. Be the change as you